women's groups in Iran, both religiously identified and uh, not so religiously identified groups. And uh, probably they will introduce their own video. The Afghan Ministry of Islamic and Secular Studies in Iran. Around a year ago, the, mm, the Progressive government of President Ahmadinejad introduced a new talent bill uh, to the parliament, which was which is have a lot of many of modest uh, modest uh, reform that women had managed to bring about through large years of struggles in post-revolution Iran. An important aspect of this bill was promotion of polygamy marriage without the permission of the court patron. Wife. Ironically, this bill was called the Family Protection Law in part because it had attempts to remove a few conventional struggles such as the, uh, demanding a high mass and women had creatively used to obtain their divorce. The women's group from the uh, diverse perspectives ranging from secular to Islamic to Islamist feminists who had never greatly co collaborated came together to fight against this bill. The central focus of this paper is to examine what were the conditions that had made it possible for women to work together across their ideological divide and adopt common strategies in their struggles. In order for us to appreciate the significance of this unusual collaboration, it is important to outline some of their major difference. After the collapse of the labor monarchy, and immediately after the establishment of the Islamic Republic of Iran in 1779, uh, in 1979, yeah, <laughs> it, it negated the modest reform that women had secured during the first three quarters, quarters of the century, this con uh, cancellation of rights had created in a confederation way of various forms of protest on the part of women. The feminist literature on the women's movement in Iran, particularly those created by secular living outside Iran, a scholar living outside Iran, has divided, uh, the, uh, has divided the activist woman into two broad camps, the secular and the Islamist feminists. While the secular were assumed to promote and demand women's rights on the basis of equality, and men and women use a human rights perspective to justify their demands, the Islamist woman articulated their demands of, empower, uh, of empowerment of women's rights from religious perspective. However, those who were uh, criticized as the Islamist, as, as the Islamist uh, feminists never accepted this label and never defined themselves as such. In all the interviews that have been uh, carried out during the last few de uh, decades, they have never refer referred to themselves as Islamist feminists publicly. The more, mod uh, moderate, the more moderate wing, to, uh, wing of this camp may present themselves as reformists or uh, progressive religious, and the most conservative of this camp would justify their activis uh, activism as defender of Islam Islamic uh, rights of women. On the other hand, women outside this camp may define themselves as secular only in opposition to the Islamist uh, woman and in attempt to distance themselves from the religious group. Yet, this so-called secular woman include a range of uh, perspectives from left to liberal and indigenous feminists. Significantly, this camp also include many women who see themselves as Muslim but demand separation the religion from politics. Our research and interview with various women activists However, indicate that while broadly speaking, the women's, move, women's movement can be divided into two dis, uh, distinct, distinct camps, uh, contrary, uh, contrary to the claim, their difference 
do not stem from their level of religiosity. Rather, their differences stem from their relationship and uh, uh, approaches to the state power structure. Many of the, uh, many of the so-called uh, many of the so-called Islamist women did not adopt a religious discourse for their demands of women's equality. On the other hand, secular women in public may adopt very religious discourse in support of their claim. Therefore, the uh, this, uh, distinction made between secular and Islamist women activists uh, can hardly be justified in the name of women's uh, degree of religiosity. Indeed, what appears as major difference between the two camps are their understanding of a state power structure and their relation to it, and not the power of religion. Indeed, what appears as major difference between the two camps are their understanding of a state power structure and their relation to it, to it, and not the power of religion. However, since in Iran, the state power has inter, uh, intertwined with their religious ideology. The women who, who are close 